Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand Alliance. It's been said that perception is more important than reality. Is that the case when it comes to beards? Let's take a look at some celebrity beards, beards that you might think are fantastic and perfect. And it's a beard that you want. And then in reality, they're actually the beard you already have. We're gonna take a look at these beards and uh, break them down. I'm gonna show you by these examples that your beard is probably just as good as some A-list celebrities. Stay tuned. I'm gonna break the myth that you do not have to have 100% even coverage to be rocking and sporting a beard. And what I think you need to do is have that beard and to wear it with confidence. So let's take a look at some of these guys. I'm not going to dwell on them too much. There's a lot of men out there in um, Hollywood who are um, rocking beards that you might perceive, once you look at them, as less than perfect. And yet, these guys look good and they continue to wear them, as I said, with confidence. I'm just going to lead off with a guy like Will Smith, who will often rock a beard. But you can see, like many guys, has some areas of weakness under his chin. And his cheeks actually don't come up particularly high. A lot of guys will see that in their own face and refuse to grow a beard out because they think it will not be a full beard. You have the same kind of beard in uh, Shia LaBeouf. We have a guy who has a very good mustache and pretty dense coverage. But there's a strong disconnect between the mustache and the beard. Does it stop? him from growing a beard. No. This man wears his beard and he wears it confidently. And you should too. Um, I, there, there's so many on this list of guys who have beards that are not, you know, what you think of in terms of like that 100% coverage beard. Um, Andrew Garfield, uh, you can see that he has uh, some sparseness definitely under his lip and, you know, his mustache does not even connect to the beard itself. Um, but he has great coverage on the chin strap and a great mustache. And so he's rocking a beard that um, it looks fantastic. And yet it is not what you would think would be over here on that bell curve. You know, it's, it's here. And I'm not meaning to rank these beards, what is better, what is worse. It's really talking about the amount of beard that you have as opposed to is this better or worse. I, I, I would never say this is better than that. Um, Jamie Foxx is a guy who has uh, some uh, challenge in the front of his beard. So many guys have this, as I've said before in other videos, that you have to think that it's not, you know, an area of patchiness as much as maybe one of the predominant beard patterns um, out there. That so many, so many guys have beards that have um, some amount of um, um, either baldness, patchiness, or thinness underneath the chin. Um, one of those guys, Keanu Reeves, uh, famous for often wearing a beard. And uh, some guys will say, eh, I don't like his beard because it's not as dense and full as you think it is. Um, I think it fits his look. Um, he has um, a very distinct face um, that a beard like this seems to work really well with. And it has not stopped him for the past 15 or 20 years wearing a beard on and off throughout his career. Matthew Con McConaughey is a great example of a guy who has some areas, once again, under his lip where it's uh, quite thin. And as I said before, it is the overwhelming number one question. Do I have enough hair on my face to grow a full beard? When they see a beard like Matthew McConaughey, when they're growing that out and there's no hair here, you know, and it's not coming in. Um, it's not going to be until you see the balance of the rest of the beard, the hair on your face, that you realize that I do have enough money to rock a beard. One of the best examples of a guy who walk, rocks a beard and is nowhere near this part of the curve would be someone like Leonardo DiCaprio, um, who has um, a very low chin, uh, cheek line. And he's been in so many movies where he's been required to wear a beard. And yet, um, not that beard at this end of the curve, but a beard that still comes off as looking like a beard. In your mind, it's a beard. And so uh, I just want to encourage you guys that it, your beard does not have to be perfect. It sounds like I'm wrapping up already. I'm not. I got more. Jason Momoa, um, known for having a beard, 
and on close observation, close study, you realize that he has thin areas and sides that are less than even in terms of coverage. And yet, this man is known, he's not even perceived, he's known for having, you know, this kind of beard, having a beard. And um, so, once again, the perception of someone, the perception of you with a beard, um, a lot of people will say that you're a bearded guy, even if you have areas on your beard that are challenged. Um, the entire, like, think about Vikings or think about the Game of Thrones movie. Uh, Kit Harrington um, is a guy who, you know, rocking a beard on Game of Thrones, and, you know, he has areas on his face where there is zero hair growth and yet he confidently wears a beard and wears one on television on this, uh, on this TV show. Almost the entire cast of Vikings, all of these guys have beards that are not at this end of the spectrum, but closer to the midpoint of the spectrum in terms of the amount of coverage that they have on their, on their faces. And yet, we're seeing these guys wearing their full beards, wearing their beards confidently. I have a couple of guys here, um, you know, I'm going to wrap up with these. Um, so guys on Instagram, you know, you might uh, see a lot of these celebrities and think, oh, unattainable. Instagram, maybe there's a level, slight level of, you know, guys like you on Instagram. Um, actually, these guys aren't like us. These guys are <laughs> pretty good looking. Uh, and uh, I didn't mean that you, I'm talking about me. Um, in terms of like uh, my friend Giuseppe, you can see here looking at his beard, that he has some thin areas and his mustache has a disconnect from his beard itself. He is a fairly famous model on Instagram and rocks the stubble beard with confidence. And I think it's great. I'm gonna end here with a buddy of mine, Ryan Stacks, who is super famous on TikTok and known for having you know, this fantastic head of hair and as well as a physique, but also for having a beard uh, for the most part, times he shaves. But on close observation on his beard, you realize that it's incredibly low on his cheeks. I actually spoke to him today and I asked him you know, for his permission to use his picture here and he said, put me in coach. Uh, he wanted to actually let you know that his beard does not grow up high. It is lower on his face and more almost of a chin strap. But when you look at this guy, you get the idea that that guy has a full beard. So what do you perceive? What is reality? So they are not necessarily the same thing. So I want to encourage everyone, as I always do, to give your beard some time and to um, cut yourself some slack when it actually comes to weak areas that you perceive on your face. You can see all of these celebrities, all of these famous people who have, um, who don't care, who actually just um, are able to rock the hair that they have on their face with confidence. Um, I would encourage you to do the same thing. It took me the longest time to um, break free from um, what I thought was a weak beard when it came to my thin spots, um, my bald spots on my own beard. And also, you know, I have what appears to be a really thick beard from the front, you know, but at times when I look at my beard from the side, it can look, you know, rather thin. But the perception is that I have this super dense, thick beard. In reality, it's medium at best. So encourage you guys, grow those beards, give them time, and um, try to actually think on your own face, what is the best suit? What is the best part of my beard? Maybe the mustache, maybe that chin strap area. You can grow your beard like Ryan there, grow that out, and coupled with his strong mustache, a winner beard, a winning beard. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be here on the curve to wear a beard. You can be anywhere on that spectrum, anywhere on that curve and wear a beard, as long as you do it with confidence. Hope that's encouraging, guys. Tell us below, you know, if you have areas on your face that you feel that are compromised, and if um, you've gotten over that and you're rocking your beard with confidence. Until we meet again, Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.